Hello everyone, welcome to Almighty Twitch. There is a question in uh, lit code saying merge sorted array. So it will give in two, um, two sorted array, sorted input array. Okay. And we need to merge these two array. Okay. And also it is saying that uh, the, so if you see the example, the first sorted array is like this one, two, three, and the size is three next sorted array is input is two five six and size is three okay and also it is saying uh, but if you observe one thing the size is saying three but we are getting this uh, six right so so it means what if it is zero after this uh, after the sorting elements if it is zero so it, it is saying that we need to return uh, we need to have the output in nums one okay so if i if i do uh, if i sort and combine means uh, if i combine this if i merge this two array so it will be like the size of the output will be what three and three means what six total six okay so we need to have six elements in nums one after the sorting okay after the merging the two array okay so let's understand how we can solve this so the question is asking the question is asking uh, forget about the um, uh, that uh, uh, zero uh, zero elements thing so let's understand how we can solve in uh, better approach okay so let's input will be we have we'll have two sorted array okay one is like uh, let's say two six uh, or two six nine 10 okay another sorted array we have b we can have like 3 uh, 5 uh, 7 and 8 let's say 11 okay the size size is here let's say m is 4 and size is size for b is 5 okay now the output should be the output should be like this 2 3 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 so we combine these two, two array and we have sorted the um, elements okay we have sorted the elements now can we do one thing um, so the basic approach what will be the basic approach so basic approach will be we can do one thing we have one we can have one uh, x array so we'll put all these elements in this array okay one by one two six nine ten this a these are the a's element a array element then we'll put three five seven eight and eleven okay these are the b b element okay b is array element so once we form this array we can sort this one like sort like so for this maybe we can use merge sort merge sort we can use for the time complexity we will use n log n okay n log n let's understand the another approach without using merge sort or any other sorting algorithm okay so let's understand approach two so approach two okay so in approach two what we'll do so let's so our array is first array is what are the array two two six nine ten right two six nine ten okay and these array will be what Three five seven eight eleven. Three five seven eight and eleven. Okay. Now, if you do one thing, so these are our indexes, right? Zero one two three. Zero one two three four. <coughs> okay. So, uh, let's uh, take uh, two uh, two pointers. Let's say P one pointer and p2 pointer so p1 pointer is for a array p2 
two pointer is for B array. Okay. So what we'll do? So we'll check for we'll take one loop and we'll check these two indexes simultaneously. Okay. So I what I mean a of let's say a of zero is greater than or equal to a of sorry b of zero then we know this is the uh, smaller element right so we can have one output array okay there we'll put this small element okay so what we'll do we'll put out of so we'll take another uh, pointer p3 which will start from zero to uh, maintain the index so p3 of b of zero okay so now let's say a is smaller than b of zero okay then what we'll do so out of p1 will be sorry p3 will be a of zero okay so this this approach will do for each and every element okay each and every element let's code this one then we can and we'll understand this so first of all the p1 is zero for a okay p2 is zero right p3 is zero okay now we know the size of so we know the size of uh, int array size of let's say n size of a dot length okay int n so size of b dot length okay from this we we, we can get the uh, the output size array right so int output size array equals to new int n plus n right why because if you see if you see the example so we have a is four size right b is five size so in total it will have six total nine size one two three four five six seven eight nine right so we need to have output n plus m size okay now we'll take the while loop take the while loop so while loop will run till how many times so if p1 is less than the size of array and p2 is less than size of b then uh, till that uh, a time it will run right so what i mean so it will have if p1 less than n and p2 less than m till that time it will run right now we will check if if a of p1 a of p1 because p1 is for we are maintaining this pointer for a right a of p1 less than equals to okay b of p2 so p2 we are maintaining for b array okay less than equal to p2 then what we'll do we'll we'll push we'll push this uh, b element to output array right so the output array will have p3 so p3 for p3 is 0 so initially p3 is 0 p3 equals to b of p2 okay okay now what we need to do we need to increase the increase the pointer right so p2 so it is it is small it is done it is inserted in then i need to check with this check with this this element this element this element okay so i need to increment the p2 so p2 plus plus and p3 p3 plus plus why p3 plus plus because I, so my first index is over and then I need to insert the second index right second index means I need to increment the p3 value okay so it is it is done else else means what now else means p, uh, a of p1 is small so what I will do out of p3 equals to a of a of p1 okay and I will increment same thing I need to do I need to do what I need to if this one is done this one uh, I need to check the if it is small then I need to check each and every element right so I need to increment that 
so what I mean so p1 plus plus and p3 plus plus same here p3 also it will increment here okay done now but if you observe one thing if you observe one thing uh, this is uh, the size the size is here what if you observe one thing the size is what um, a size is 4 and b size is 5 right we are doing while loop we are taking the while loop so it is taking till n till m so let's say uh, it is uh, n value is 4 uh, m value is 5 and somehow p1 is reached to 4 okay p1 reach reached to 4 then it this will not uh, satisfy right if it is not satisfying then this will not satisfy okay but one element is left because this is 5 right one element is left which is not inserted into the output array so what we'll do we can we'll take one while loop in this while loop we'll check if e1 is less than n then we get to know that this p1 is uh, p1 this uh, a, a array has some element which are not inserted if it is true okay then we'll insert output p3 equals to a of p1 okay then we implement the p1 plus plus and p3 plus plus okay this is done if it is uh, if uh, any element is left in a okay this is for a a array okay now let's do do it for b array while while p2 is less than m if p2 is uh, if if uh, b b array elements are left b array elements are left left it is not inserted into the out then obviously this p2 will be small right so here we need to check if it is correct then output array will be what out of p3 equals to b of p2 right and we will increment the p2 and we will increment the p3 then right so we can have the print statement where we can print the out okay so this is the approach so this approach is taking how much time so this approach is taking big o of n plus m time okay so uh, so in the lead code it is saying we need to return uh, in lead code it is saying we need to return uh, the array or we need to have the output the array in a so in the lead code it will have like this it will have like a will be there a input will be there so let's say uh, the sorted elements are like one two three okay and uh, the size will given equals three okay but it will given zero 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 okay it means what we have uh, some uh, element which will come from b okay b array okay so those elements we need to ins we need to have here not b element after sorting after merging the element after sorting the element those elements will be present here and we will this will be our output array so for this actually what we'll do so we got this so we have this output array right so we'll do one thing we'll take the for loop int i equals to zero output i less than output dot length then i plus plus okay then here what we will do a of i is equal to out of i then it will replace right so it will be our print a of i so this is our output okay let's code this one let's see okay so it is given num of num1 right so i'll take three pointers p1 equals to zero so i am i am i am working in java but you can use this concept in any language p2 is zero then p3 is zero okay and i'll take one out array route 
new int of m plus m right so we can have the length okay we'll take while loop while while p1 is less than m and p2 is p2 is less than n so i need to execute this condition if if a of p1 greater than equals to b of p2 then it means what i need to insert in the output array right the out of p3 equals to b of p2 right then i'll increment the p2 value because it will go to next element p2 plus plus and p3 plus plus if it is false then it means what a element is small so out of p3 out of p3 equal to a of a of p1 okay then p1 plus plus then p3 plus plus okay now it is done right but we need to check whether any element is left or not so for that while for we we'll, first we'll check for um, first element sorry uh, this will be let's rename to a and this also rename to b okay so first we'll check for the array uh, a array okay while while p1 is less than m while p1 is less than m then some elements are left right so what i'll do i'll put those elements p3 equals to p3 equals to a of p1 okay then p1 plus plus p3 plus plus okay similarly i'll do it for um, do it for array b okay b array so we'll check p2 less than n if it is true then we'll go we'll put this element p3 equals to b of p2 then p2 plus plus p3 plus plus okay and finally what we need to do we need to make this uh, element edge uh, output okay so what we'll do we'll take the for loop for int i equals to zero i less than n sorry n plus n right because the output error let me put the bracket here n plus n then i plus plus okay then a of i equals to out of out of i okay let's solve let's compile this okay let's submit it yes it is working fine right okay hope you understood this approach uh, thank you for watching this video